Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Twitch tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add Streamlabs widgets to your Twitch stream in OBS if you're missing the browser source or browser, any of those sources where you're unable to add any of the widgets such as alert boxes, subscription goals, donation goals, or even the chat box. This is a workaround for that. So in this example, I'll be showing you how to do that with an alert box, but you'll be using the same tools that I show you to make it work for any of the other widgets that are available from Streamlabs. So I'm gonna go into the alert box and we'll go ahead and get started. So at this point, you should have this widget kind of configured the way you want it with the layouts or even the different fonts, anything like that. None of that really matters in this tutorial because really we need to make sure that the widget is configured so that it will work with this workaround. So the first settings change we need to make to, in order to have this workaround actually work is to just change the background color here under general settings. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna select a very bright green background color. I'll have this actual color number down in the description in case you wanna copy that as well. So once you make this change of the color, copy the number right here, the background color number. All right, so once we've done that, go ahead and save the settings. Now the last thing we need to do is select launch. So we're gonna launch the widget into another window. So as you can see, it's right here. It looks green. If I do test follow, it comes up within the widget. So it's actually working right there. We're gonna add this window to our stream right now. So go back to OBS, under sources, select the plus button, and then go to window capture. Select okay to create a new one. Now what we're gonna do is make sure that the window being captured is the window of that alert box or the widget from Streamlabs. As you can see, this looks kind of ugly probably don't want this to be on your stream we will fix that right now the first thing we're going to do is remove this little strip at the top that's like the address bar or whatever in the browser so to do that we need to right click the actual widget and then go to transform and then tra edit transform now because I'm only removing things on the top I'm going to go down to the crop and then I'm going to remove 50 from the top so as you can see that quickly removed that top little address bar if you had anything else on the bottom or the side, you could do that using the right, left, or bottom options right here. So select close once you're done. Now what we need to do is add a filter, kind of like a green screen, to this widget so that it doesn't show the background anymore and it'll be clear. You do that by right-clicking the source window capture, going to filters, then selecting the plus symbol, and going to chroma key. Select OK. Now what we need to do is go into the key color type and select custom. What you're gonna to wanna to do is select a color and in HTML, paste that color code that we copied from Streamlabs. Select okay. Now make sure the similarity number right here is down to one and then press closed. Now we have this clear box, we can move it around anywhere we want. And if we go back to Streamlabs and hit test follow, we can now see that our alert is working and it actually looks pretty good inside OBS. So this is what it will look like on your stream. You're going to have a little bit of artifacts from the green, but make sure you select a good color that's unique, but also won't look bad for your stream. I don't think the green looks too bad, so I'm going to leave it that way. If you end up having any green bars or anything like this little green thing right here, just kind of move it up a little bit so it's a little bit outside of your stream, then it won't show up on Twitch but I don't think I'll have that issue. So I'm just gonna leave it like that in the center so that the alerts come up in the center. So that's how you add Streamlabs widgets to OBS without the browser source. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Twitch or OBS tutorial videos, check the link in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.